Hello guys. So I've got an exciting video today. I went shopping this weekend. I went to Ulta, Sephora, we went to True Religion, Zoomies, and I went to Buckle. So we're just going to get started. Um, i trying to decide if I should start with clothes or beauty. Let's just do beauty. It's a big old Ulta bag. It's as big as I am. It's huge. So we're just going to jump in. I don't know what I want to talk about first. I got hair stuff. I've got skin stuff. I've got beauty stuff. I guess I'll just go in. Whatever. First thing I got was this um, Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I've actually heard really good things about this. Um, I'm always down to try to find new dry shampoos. Um, I just... I don't like to wash my hair very often. Oh no, it leaves a white cast. I hate that. Because I've got dark hair. It smells good though. We'll give this a try. Let you guys know. Next thing I got is from Kenra. It's another dry shampoo. It's a hair powder. I've never heard of that before. I have, um, I think it's her Root Pump, um, by Kenra, um, and I really like it, so, I, try, I got, I actually got a lot of her stuff, I really wanted to try her dry shampoo, I heard good things about that too, I hope it doesn't leave a white cast, I can't stand that, let me see if I can find my other Kenra products while we're on Kenra, yeah, here's my other two things that I got, I got a thickening spray, Shake well, apply evenly to damp hair from roots to ends. Comb through to ensure even distribution, blow dry, and style is desired. Okay, reapply on damp on dry hair and comb through for a refresh. Oh, nice. Like I said, I really like Kimra's products. She's always got good reviews on her stuff. What's this other thing? Working spray. Oh, man, I saw Nicole Guerrero use this. Um... I'm a huge fan of Nicole Guerrero, and um, she uses a lot of Kenra pro um, products. And I saw her use this working spray on this hairstyle that I really want to try that she did. Um, the uh, I think it was her her big fluffy ponytail tutorial or something. It was one of them. It was one of her hair tutorials, and I really liked it. I really liked the way her hair looked, so I went and got this. I think that's all the Kenra stuff that I got, or all the hair stuff I got. No, no it's not. No it's not. I had to re-up on Batiste. I love Batiste. I got two new, two more um, dry shampoos. These are the, um, the ones with the um, hint of color in them. These do not leave a white cast in my hair, which is what I love. Batiste is amazing. I can go like five days without washing my hair. And put this stuff in it and it'll look amazing every single day. Love Batiste. But, you know, I'm giving Kenra a try. really like her. I really hope her products work for me. Alright. Let me get this thing right here out of the way. Oh my god. Philosophy gave me this. It came with a little bag. Um, because I bought this from them. I bought the Philosophy Pore Extractor Mask. It is the, um, in two uses, see, virtually blackhead free skin. Virtually blackhead free skin. It's that word virtually. It always just, it, it, it sends me over the edge. I'm like, what do you mean virtually? Will I see blackheads or will I not see blackheads? Um, I actually put this on Nate last night. And his skin actually felt really soft this morning when I went and had lunch with him. Um, it says and you have to use it twice to see any kind of results. So I'm going to try this on him again. Maybe not tonight, but um, we'll say like Wednesday or Thursday or something. And um, 
let you guys know how he likes this. Um, he's a big fan of the Purity Face Wash, which I am too. Just the whole reason why he's a fan of it is because he always steals my face wash. And um, he liked it. And I told him I wanted to try this. So he said, let's, let's get some. So also got some more Purity. Um, these are um, makeup removing wipes. One Step Facial Cleansing Cloths. He wanted some of these. Nate wanted some of these too because he does not like to wash his face at night. So he'll lay in bed and use one of these wipes across his face. He loves it. And because I spent so much money on philosophy stuff, they gave me this bag. It comes with this huge bag. And it's got all this other cool stuff in it. We've got the Uplifting Miracle Worker Eye. It's um, Cool Lift and Firming Eye Cream. Miracle Worker for face and your neck. It's a cool lift and firm moisturizer for your face and your neck, which is pretty good. Amazing Grace, which is the um, body emulsion. Never tried that before, but it looks really nice. The Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. That sounds really interesting. It's a new, it says it's a new formula. I'll have to give that a try. And then just some regular Purity Face face wash which you know we have a, the big bottle with the pump <laughs> but yeah I'm pretty excited about all that I can go in the trash but this little bag was so cool it's humongous like look how big this thing is that's pretty nice of them to give me that for free and I saw Ulta in there trying to play people they were only trying to give me free samples because I was in there spending ultimate ultimate bucks with them all right let's keep keep going into skincare here all right these are the next two things i'm going to talk about then we'll talk about some makeup i got my babies these things were 75 dollars it's expensive peter thomas roth um these are his 24 karat um pure luxury lift and firm hydrogel eye patches now, I would not have bought this without trying it first, obviously. Me and Tally were in Sephora one day when they had first opened up in Rocky Mount, and um, their lady was in there giving out free samples of Peter Thomas Roth, and I had never heard of him. I didn't know who he was or anything like that. But um, she gave us two eye patches, or four eye patches each for two uses. And I used mine, and she used hers. And let me just tell y'all... It did wonders for my under, under eyes. I really so I tried these and I really liked them. So I uh, I wanted to wanted to get some of these. I don't know what this little spoon is for, but oh, this is what they look like. Oh, oh no, I'm getting it everywhere. These little guys. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna do those tonight. I'm so serious. If you have trouble with your eyes, with your um, looking refreshed in the morning. You need to try these. Just go ask for a sample of it. Try it first. You don't have to buy it. They can they can give you samples. All right. So that was probably my most expensive product that I bought at bought at Ulta. But whatever. Also got the Peter Thomas Roth. This is new. This is one of their new um their their water drench collection collection. And I'm really dry. It's about to be winter. It's about to get even drier out here. It's crazy. So I've got the water drench hyaluronic cloud cream hydrating moisturizer. And I swatched this. Best results apply twice daily to face and neck with continued use. So, you're going to do this twice a day. Probably in the morning and then the night. And that night after I wash my face. But this stuff right here, I actually swatched it in Ulta when I was in there. Which, I went to the Ulta in Raleigh. The one at, um, Triangle. Is it Triangle Town Center? I think that's what it's called. Triangle Town Center. And my hand felt amazing. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so clean. I'm really excited to try that out too though, but I've heard really good things about Peter Thomas Roth and I mean I've experienced good things with Peter Thomas Roth, so I really like hope this works out. This wasn't as expensive as the eye patches. I don't remember how much this was. I think I have the receipt in here. Oh, I do. How 
Hyaluronic eye cream. It was $52. And that eye patches were $75. Oh my god. I can't believe I spent that much money. Holy crap. That's a lot. Whatever. The past is the past. Alright, now let's get into the makeup. First off, I got some more um, Anastasia Brow Gel. I use this stuff every day. Um, I don't remember what color I use, but I just got, I always get the tinted one because I feel like the clear brow gel, every time I use that one, whenever I go in and fill my brows in, it'll, when I put the clear brow gel through it, it'll remove the, all the work that I've done. And I'm like, no, I have to go back in and refill them in. So I always get the tinted one so it doesn't do that. But you know, get whichever one you want if you are interested in getting a brow gel, but I can't go without brow gel. At all. So I got brow gel. I got oh, Ulta sells MAC now. I don't know if anybody knew that. But I walked in and they had a humongous MAC section. And I was like, Anyways, I got a, um, a lip pencil, which is like a lip liner. I wish I would tell me. It's, it's in the color Strip Down. I'll swatch it for you. It's just a really nude. It's like a nude color. And I wear a lot of nude lipsticks, so I figured I'd get a nude one. But I like MAC pencils. I have a bunch of them. I just don't, I don't think I have any nude ones. The nude, like, the nudest one I have is, like, a gray nude. It's, like, I think the color is Stone. MAC Stone. Anyways, I got the, um, Tarte Shape Tape, um, Double Duty Beauty, um, concealer. I got it in the shade Light. They didn't have a lot of shades, but I had been wanting to try this concealer for a long time now. Um, but I didn't want to buy it online because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to order the wrong color. <laughs> this stuff's expensive. How much is the sharp, sharp, sharp? How much is the Tarte Shape Tape? Tarte Shape Tape Concealer is $25. Ridiculous if you ask me, but whatever. I can't wait to try this in the morning. Everybody has talked about how wonderful this concealer is. And I've not been able to try it yet. So, we'll see how that works out for me. I'm always the last to try everything. It never fails. Oh my god. I'm telling y'all, I'm set on mascara. Set. I do not need to buy mascara. Probably for the next three months. Probably four months. First thing I needed was a replenish on Better Than Sex. This is my favorite mascara. Um, I know a lot of people talk shit about it. That it's, it makes your lashes clumpy. It does this, it does that. It does not do that to my lashes. This has always been my ride or die mascara. I have yet to find another one that compares to this. Until I found the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I actually ordered some Stila, some Stila stuff a couple months ago from Ulta, and they sent me um, a sample. I'm even pulling out this right here. They sent me a sample size little lipstick tube of this, and I love the way this applies. And I'm gone. I'm done. Like it's it's empty. So I had to go get a new one. I got a full size one this time though, and I really like that stuff. It, but it's so crazy. It's like, here, let me get my open better than sex. Look at the comparison of these brushes. They look identical. This one is just a little bit bigger. They still have that hourglass figure to them. This one is just a little bit skinnier. So this one right here really gets in there. And this one right here really defines it. So, I had to get a new, new one of these. And then when I, you buy Too Faced stuff, they give you free samples of stuff. And instead of giving me free samples, they gave me a whole tube of the Better Than Sex Waterproof. Now, I'm not a big fan of waterproof mascara because I won't be able to, it won't come off my eyes. But, um, I actually took this out the other day. T 
to feel it because it, when I they had just first came out with this stuff, they had put the water droplets on the um, on the tube of um, mascara, and I didn't think they were texturized, but they are. I think that's so cool. I'm excited about this. Can't wait to use it, but I might have some issues with it. Anyways. I'm good for mascara. I got three tubes of mascara. <laughs> All right. What else did I get? I got a Becca blush. Now I had when Jacqueline Yo came out with her um, split pans. I got the um, the champagne pop with the split pan of um, Flower Child. And um, Ulta had I've, every time I go to the Ulta, the nearest one to me is in Greenville. And every time I go to the Ulta in Greenville, they don't ever have any kind of like. Becca products ever unless you get like a little sample size Becca something but um I actually want have been wanting this blush for a long time now so um I, I finally picked it up it's so pretty there it is yeah it's gorgeous I've been needing a new blush the last blush I bought was NARS um orgasm but um i've been using that one and i've been using luminoso a lot but i love luminoso it's like it's like the peach it's peach and it's shimmery and i love a shimmery blush all right i got the new well it's not new i got a nars um foundation the all day luminous weightless foundation um in the color goby I think that's the color name but I've been I liked the um this is the other NARS foundation that I have I've had the velvet matte skin tint and I really like the way that that one looks um but that one's got like a lot of SPF in it so that's something that I would wear like in the summertime so this one right here is like a luminous um foundation and whereas that one is uh, a matte foundation so on my luminous on my luminous days I can wear this one. Pretty excited about it too. I've been wanting this one for so long, but I wanted to buy it from Ulta. And um, I mean, the only time that I've ever seen it in Ulta is the other day. <laughs> I'd never saw it in Ulta before. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I'm gonna love it. All right, the last couple of things I got are from the brand <clears throat> Stila. Now don't sleep on Stila, okay y'all? Because Stila has got some good stuff. And I did not know that until recently when I tried the mascara. So first of all, I've already had the um, the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. I already had two of them. I had um, Molten Midnight and then I had Kitten Karma. So first of all, for buying so much Stila stuff, they gave me a free sample of their Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, which um, I'm kind of looking forward to using because I'm out of Kat Von D Liquid Liner right now, and that has always been my go-to. So we're going to give this guy right here a try. First thing I got, I repurchased this. I'm almost out of my Stila um, One Step Correct Primer. This, if you've got redness in your skin... This right here will be your lifesaver. I'm so serious. I had to get uh, another one. This is what it looks like. It's got all these different colors in there. It's got um, green, peach, and lavender. It's for um, brightening, moisturizing, and um, color correcting. So, this is what you need. It's nice. Then I got two more. They're um, metal glitter glow liquid eyeshadows. I got gold goddess and then i got a silver one so oh, come on. Ah! i got gold goddess oh it's so pretty i can't wait to use this i'll have to do a makeup look using this guy he's so pretty so what for the cops cup because everybody's here tonight and this is diamond dust and I really like this shade so that's why I got this this one made me want to get the silver one that made me want to get the gold one let me get you some bigger swatches than that you can't see those 
There we go. Oh yeah, that's a big old swatch. Do you see that light? Oh my god. I think I like that silver one better than I like the gold one. That silver one's beautiful, but you've got to look at Kitten. Kitten's actually one of my favorites. It's like a rose gold. Oh god, it's beautiful. This is the, the Kitten Karma. Oh yeah. Beautiful. And then I've got, I've also got this one. This is the Molten Midnight. This is just the black one. I felt like I needed this one. It's just darker. It's still shiny. It's just darker. But I'm excited. Now I've got my, well I don't have the whole collection, but I've got my four favorites. Which is all I really want in life. <laughs> Alright, that's all for Ulta. Let me put all this stuff up. Next we went to Sephora. This is my happy place. I didn't really get a whole lot of stuff from Sephora. I'm going to be honest with you. However, I got a lot of good stuff. First thing I got is a repurchase. It is some citrus brush cleaner. Um, this is for this is not for deep cleaning your brushes. This is for um, spot cleaning. Like um, I'll lay and I have a washcloth that I use every single day that I do my makeup. I clean my hand off with it. Uh, I'll lay it down and I'll you whatever brush I'm using. Say I'm using this brush right here, and I'm get done with it. I'll spritz it swirling around on my napkin <clears throat> or my washcloth if I'm using paper towel my paper towel whatever and then I'll put it put it back so that way my brush is clean for the next time that I go to use it it's not deep cleaned it's not disinfected but it doesn't have it doesn't have any excess product on it that can cause you know clogged pores and stuff like that all right so got that that was a repurchase next I got a um the Too Faced just peachy matte um, Too Faced just came out with their whole new peach collection. Um, and these, these are my tones, y'all. These are my tones. I love these. I saw this in Sephora. Well, first of all, I saw it online and I was like, uh, I don't need it. It's just going to be like, just like the Sweet Peach Palette. It's not like the Sweet Peach Palette because I had that. I'll pull it out and show you. This is the Sweet Peach Palette. This is the Just Peachy Palette. And I'll show you the difference. This one has got shimmers. Like this shade right here. Oh, man, it smells so good. Um, this palette's got the shimmery shades and matte shades in it. This one right here has straight mattes. Oh, man, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like peaches. But I really bought it for this row right here. And these two shades because I this brown right here was doing things to me and then this peach sangria and peach punch these would be really cute center of the lid pop color but I'm excited about this guy but yeah I got that guy I'm really excited about using him next thing I got is a new brow pencil and look Laura Lee I love Laura Lee She's another YouTuber, but she's pretty cool. But I got a new brow pencil in the shade 4. Because that's me. That's my color. That's my tone. The 12 hour wear waterproof. It's waterproof. I didn't know it was waterproof. This is what it looks like. It looks like a little arrow. It's pretty cool. But then you open it. You have your spoolie over here. You have your product right there. But yeah. I mean, I have one that's open right now, so I'm just going to leave this one in the box and put it in my stockpile. So when I get done with my old one, I can put my old one out and put my new one in. All right. I also got two other Too Faced lip products. New stuff that they just that they came out with. Their Melted Latex and their um, Peach Kiss. Um, I was really intrigued by the melted latex. I've heard a lot of good stuff about them. And I swatched these colors when I was actually in Sephora. I really liked this shade right here. And plus, you know, I'm like, 
like nudes. Nudes are my tones. But it's supposed to be like super shiny. Way to go, Too Faced. I don't have, I tried their melted mattes. I wasn't a big fan of the melted mattes. I think I only have like one or two colors in that. Um, but I wanted to get the clear one, but they didn't have the clear one. So I could just kind of put it on whatever, like whatever lipstick I wanted to. I could make it like a latex lipstick. And then I got the shade Doll Face and the Peach Kiss. I, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with y'all. I bought this lipstick because of how cute it looked. It looks like a Marc Jacobs lipstick. It's really cute. It's got a little peach on it. And then when you roll it up, it's got little peaches on it. It's so cute. And then it's got a TF for Too Faced. But it looks just like a Marc Jacobs lipstick. And I love the Marc Jacobs lipsticks. Let me see if I can find mine. <laughs> They're so cute, right? They're so little. But that's what this one right here reminded me of. It has that little thing in it right there, just like these do. So I was like... I wanted to get all of the shades in this, but I did not. And I actually wanted to kind of go back and swatch this Just Peachy Mattes palette. I swatched it in Sephora, but I'll swatch it for you guys so you guys can see what I mean. So we'll just pick some colors. Like, we're definitely doing Peach Sangria and Peach Punch for show. Peach Sangria, Peach Punch. Oh, they're so beautiful. Let's do um that brown color, peach tart. Oh my god. I wish you guys could smell this. I really like that peach sangria color though. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay, too fast. Look how cute that is. I think always got just they've always got the cutest stuff. And look at that lipstick. It is still shining. Let me swatch this guy. I didn't even swatch this this lipstick. Oh my god, I'm falling off my game. There's the lipstick. I only got two other things that I got from Sephora. I had been wanting to try the um the Tarte blushes, but um, they gave me a Tarte blush, the Tarte Tartist lip, the, one of their lip paints, that's what it is. So they gave me the blush and the lip paint in the shade. This shade is called Birthday Suit, and this shade is, the blush is called Party. It's got three A's in it, <laughs> but I'll swatch it for you. I've never tried any of the Tartist um, lip paints either. That's a really pretty color too. I look really good. There's that. And then we've got the blush. I'll swatch the blush for you. I mean, I don't know they might. There's a blush. It's really pretty. Alright, moving on. I'm really excited about this last product. I got her shade and light gleamer. Gleamer? Glimmer. Glimmer? Gleamer? Who knows? Her shiny palette. I have the matte. The matte palette and I love it so much so I wanted to try this one out and then we were at Sephora and Nate was like don't you already have that I was like no I don't have this one <laughs> he was like Emily it looks just like the one you already have and I was like Nate it's different okay look at how gorgeous that is Kat Von D just she just always outdoes herself. Let me see if I can compare it to the matte palette. So this is what her original um, shade and light eye palette looks like. God, mine is a beat up. You can't even read the back of it anymore. It's so beat up. Oh, I don't even look at it. I'm embarrassed. This is her new... Oh, man. I'm super excited about that color right there. That's just one swipe, too. One swipe. God, it's beautiful. 
What is this? Oh man, that shade right there is beautiful. What shade is that? I'm excited, I'm excited about this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I really want to swatch this white one, but I don't really want to get it dirty. Alright, so that was everything for Sephora. Now, um, we'll get into some of the clothes that I got. I did get, went to True Religion, went to Buckle, and we went to Zoomies. We'll start with Buckle and, and, and Zoomies, because I only got a couple of things from there. Um, actually, I only got, I think, one or two things from there. <laughs> a big bag to says I beg to differ. <laughs> Alright, so I went to Buckle. I got this really pretty vest. This is what it looks like. It's got these little rose gold zippers and little pockets. I thought it was really pretty. It would look really cute with a pair of boots and a long sleeve shirt underneath. Maybe like a brown shirt and some brown boots with some skinny jeans. Oh yeah. Super cute. Got that. I don't even think that thing, this thing was that expensive either. How much was this the guy? This thing was only $32. Anyways, they had all their, their winter stuff, their winter and fall stuff out, so. All right, so that was Buckle. Now we are moving on to Zoomies. I don't think I only got like two shirts from Zoomies. This Nate's, he went. I'm telling y'all, when I go shopping and Nate's like, we're gonna take you shopping, Emily. It's never just Emily shopping. Nate will go shopping for himself anywhere we go. We went to Sephora. He bought himself something. We went to Ulta. He bought himself something. We went to Zoomies. He bought himself something. <laughs> went to True Religion. He bought himself something. He never fails. He'll always buy himself something anywhere we go. But whatever, you know. I'm not mad at it. First thing I got, I thought this was so funny. It's an air freshener and it says trap house. Well, it says trap, but it's in the shape of a house. The last one I bought there was Gucci Man. I had him hanging in my window for a long time until I finally took him down because he didn't smell good anymore, but got trap house. I always thought that was pretty funny. Um, got two t-shirts. One is a Diamond Supply t-shirt. They never have female Diamond Supply shirts at Zoomies. I always have to buy the boys t-shirts. So I finally got me a Diamond Supply t-shirt in the women's section. And I got a large because I know that they are going to shrink in the dryer because they do that all the time. I normally always get like a boys medium and then it, by the time it's done like shrinking in the dryer every time I clean it, it's like good to go for me to wear. So I got this one. I got it because it's got like the little, little roses on it and I love this color. It's like perfect for fall. Look cute with some boots. And then I got, last thing I got from Zoomies is um, a Sketchy Tanks tee. Um, me and Nate are obsessed with Sketchy Tank. If you don't know who that is, Google it. Um, I couldn't tell you who it was, but they're... They've got some really awesome stuff. Um, I'm really I'm a big fan of Diamond Supply, um, Sketchy Tank, and then um, Crooks, Crooks Castle, and then um, and Vans. I really like the Vans like wear, like their t-shirts and stuff. They're really nice. Um, but this is from Sketchy Tank, and it just says um, "Good Times with Bad Friends," <laughs> and it reminded me of like high school. <laughs> Because high school was a good time with a lot of bad friends. <laughs> but, um, it's two little skull hands cheers in each other. I thought it was pretty funny. I was like, oh, Nate, we need one. I'm pretty sure Nate has got one. I think Nate says support your local bartender or something. I don't remember. It was pretty funny, though. Um, his shirt's not in here. He took it out. I'm pretty sure he's wearing it today at work, but, you know, whatever. I got those two shirts and the Trap House air, fre air Freshener. Nate got him. I think he got him two shirts, two Sketchy Tank shirts. Um, but yeah, moving on. Next is True Religion. So if you spend over a certain amount of money, they give you, like, free shit, apparently. Um, I didn't know that at the time. But me and Nate had spent, I think it was, like, 400 and, like, something. I don't remember what it was. They gave us True Religion shot glasses. 
for our bar. We, if you don't know, we have a bar here in our house. And, um, but I'll show you the shot glasses. I thought they were pretty cool, but I was like, when the guy rung up the stuff, I don't think there were receipts in it. I think Nate has the receipt. But when he rung it up, these shot glasses were literally like $80. I was like, who in their right mind would come in here and spend $80 on shot glasses? On four shot glasses. It was so stupid, but he was like, oh, since you spent over, you know, $300 or something crazy with us, we're going to throw in these shot glasses. And I was like, you can't give us any money off of our bill. <laughs> This is what they look like. They're pretty cool. Um, they're all different. This one's got like the little horseshoe and then it just says true religion on it. I'm not going to show you all of them. They're all, I mean, they all just say true religion on them, but whatever. We're going to use them, obviously. We have a bar. I thought they were pretty cool. I figured they'd be worthy to show you guys. Alright, next thing. I'll show you my t-shirt first that I got from true religion. Um, it's just red. It's really pretty. It just says, um, it's got a little thing on the front. Then it just says True Religion brand jeans on the back. It's just kind of like a pretty, pretty basic t-shirt, if you ask me. Um, I wanted one of their v-neck shirts, but they didn't have my size in them. So I went with the, I went with one of these t-shirts instead. Alright, then I bought myself, well, actually Nate bought me. True Religion jeans. I've never had a pair of True Religion jeans before. Um, so this is my first pair of, of jeans. These are the Jenny Curvy Skinny Jeans. They're in the size 28. They didn't have a 27. I normally wear a 27 in um, jeans. Um, they did not have a 27, so I decided to try the 28. 28 fit. Um, I'd rather go up in size than go down a size because, it, like I said, once I dry these, they may shrink. I don't know. I've never had True Religion jeans before, but I'll let you know if they shrink or not. So I figured I'd get a size of bigger size than a smaller size. But um that's what the pockets look like on the back. Um pretty plain. I didn't want any kind of jeans with like a bunch of like those holes and stuff in them. Now they had a lot of that stuff in there, but um these I kind of wanted to wear with like um like tall boots this winter. Um like that vest. I could wear it with that vest with um like my fry boots or something. I don't know, I just thought that would be cute. But anyways. I got all that stuff. Let me get, let me know if you guys like seeing my shopping hauls. I don't really go shopping a lot, but um, if you like these, I will film a video um, every time that I go shopping. If you want to see it, I will show it to you. Um, I'm thinking of doing some videos with Nate. I don't know like what kind of stuff like everybody's into. Um, I was gonna let him do my makeup one day. I thought that would be pretty funny. Um, or uh letting him do one of my voiceovers or something i don't know uh, let me know what you guys think um tweet me comment find me on facebook whatever um but anyways i hope you did hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and i hope to be filming for you guys more often thanks for watching